Imagine waking up one day and realizing you have enough money to live your dreams. This isn't just a fantasy, it can be your reality through smart investing. Many people believe getting rich is all about earning a high salary or winning the lottery, but the truth is, building wealth often comes from investing your money wisely. Investing might sound complicated or risky, but it's one of the most reliable ways to grow your money over time. This video will show you why investing is key to becoming rich and how you can start, even if you have just a little money to begin with. We'll provide simple strategies and tips to help you make informed decisions. Ready to take control of your financial future? Let's dive in and discover how investing can lead you to wealth. 1. The Allure of Wealth Think about the life you dream of living. Maybe it's traveling the world, owning a beautiful home, or simply not worrying about bills. The idea of wealth is exciting because it promises freedom and security. But how do people actually achieve it? Let's look at John, an ordinary guy with a regular job. 10 years ago, John decided to start investing a small part of his income. At first, it didn't seem like much, but he kept investing regularly and watched his money grow. Today, John has a comfortable savings account, owns a few properties, and travels whenever he wants. This isn't just luck. History shows that investing has always been a reliable path to building wealth. From early merchants who traded goods to modern investors in the stock market, people have used investments to grow their money. Investing isn't just for the rich or the lucky. It's a tool anyone can use to improve their financial situation. By putting your money to work through investments, you can also start building wealth and move closer to the lifestyle you desire. The key is to start now and stay committed, just like John did. 2. Understanding investment Investing can seem confusing, but it's simpler than you might think. At its core, investing means using your money to buy something that you expect will make more money for you over time. Instead of just saving your money in a bank, where it earns little interest, investing helps your money grow faster. There are different types of investments. Stocks are pieces of ownership in a company. When the company does well, the value of your stock goes up and you can make money. Bonds are like loans you give to companies or governments and they pay you back with interest. Real estate means buying property, like houses or apartments, and earning money from rent or selling the property later for more than you paid. Each type of investment comes with its own risks and rewards. Stocks can grow quickly, but can also lose value fast. Bonds are generally safer, but offer smaller returns. Real estate can be profitable, but requires more money upfront and effort to manage. Understanding these basics helps you make smart choices. The goal is to find the right balance for you, considering how much risk you're comfortable with and how long you plan to invest. Three, the power of compound interest. Compound interest is like magic for your money. It means you earn interest not just on the money you put in, but also on the interest it has already earned. This makes your money grow faster over time. Imagine you invest $1,000 at an interest rate of 5% per year. After the first year, you earn $50 in interest, so you now have $1,050. In the second year, you earn interest on $1,050 not just the original $1,000. This gives you $52.50, making your total $1,102.50. Each year, you earn a bit more because the interest is added to your total, not just the initial amount. The longer you leave your money invested, the more powerful compound interest becomes. Starting early is key. If you start investing when you're young, even small amounts can grow significantly over time. For example, if you invest $1,000 at age 25 and leave it until you're 65, with an average interest rate of 7%, it could grow to nearly $15,000. But if you wait until age 35 to start, it might only grow to around $7,600. Compound interest rewards patience and consistency. By starting early and staying invested, you can make your money work harder for you. 4. 
Overcoming Common Misconceptions Many people hesitate to invest because of common misconceptions. Let's clear up a few. First, some believe that investing is only for the wealthy. This isn't true. With today's technology, anyone can start investing with small amounts. Apps and online platforms let you buy fractions of stocks, making it easy to begin with just a few dollars. Second, people often think investing is too risky. While it's true that investments can lose value, not all investments carry the same risk. You can choose safer options like bonds or diversify your investments to spread out risk. Plus, the stock market tends to grow over the long term, even if there are ups and downs along the way. Another misconception is that you need to be a financial expert to invest. While knowledge helps, you don't need to be an expert. Many resources are available to learn the basics, and there are tools like robo-advisors that help you invest based on your goals and risk tolerance. Lastly, some think they're too young or too old to start investing. The best time to start investing is now, regardless of your age. Starting early gives you more time to grow your money, and even if you start later, investing can still help you reach your financial goals. Investing is accessible, manageable, and beneficial for everyone. Don't let misconceptions hold you back from building your wealth. 5. Practical Steps to Start Investing Starting to invest can be easy if you follow some simple steps. Educate yourself. Learn the basics of investing. There are many free resources online, including articles, videos, and courses that can teach you the fundamentals. Set financial goals. Decide what you want to achieve with your investments. Are you saving for retirement, a house, or an emergency fund? Clear goals help you choose the right investments. Create a budget. Look at your income and expenses to see how much you can afford to invest each month. Even small amounts can grow over time. Choose the right investments. Based on your goals and how much risk you can handle, decide what types of investments are best for you. Stocks, bonds, and real estate are common options. Use investment platforms. There are many user-friendly apps and online platforms where you can start investing with little money. Some platforms even offer robo-advisors that automatically manage your investments. Start small and be consistent. Begin with small investments and gradually increase the amount as you become more comfortable. Consistency is key to growing your money. Monitor and adjust. Regularly check your investments to see how they're performing. Be ready to make changes if needed to stay on track with your goals. 6. The Role of Financial Advisors Investing can sometimes feel overwhelming, and this is where financial advisors come in. They are professionals who help you make smart decisions with your money. When to seek help. If you're new to investing, have a large sum to invest, or face complex financial situations, a financial advisor can provide valuable guidance. They help you understand your financial goals and create a plan to achieve them. What they do. Advisors assess your financial situation, including your income, expenses, debts, and goals. They recommend investment strategies tailored to your needs and risk tolerance. They can also help with other financial planning aspects, like retirement, taxes, and estate planning. Choosing the right advisor. Look for a certified financial advisor with a good reputation. You can ask friends or family for recommendations or check online reviews. Make sure the advisor is transparent about their fees and how they are compensated. Some advisors charge a flat fee, while others earn a commission on the investments they recommend. Benefits A good financial advisor can save you time, help you avoid costly mistakes, and provide peace of mind knowing that a professional is guiding your investment decisions. Using a financial advisor can make investing less intimidating and more manageable, helping you stay on track to reach your financial goals. 7. Potential Pitfalls and How to Avoid Them Investing is a powerful tool for building wealth, but it's important to avoid common mistakes. Here are some pitfalls and how to steer clear of them. Lack of research. Jumping into investments without proper research can lead to poor choices. Always take the time to understand what you're investing in. Read up on different investment options and stay informed about market trends. 
Chasing quick profits, trying to get rich quickly can be risky. Investments that promise high returns in a short time often come with high risks. Focus on long-term growth instead of short-term gains. Not diversifying, putting all your money in one investment is risky. Diversify your portfolio by spreading your investments across different types of assets like stocks, bonds, and real estate. This helps balance risk and reward. Ignoring fees. Investment fees can eat into your returns. Be aware of any fees associated with your investments, such as management fees or transaction costs, and choose low-cost options when possible. Emotional decisions. Making investment decisions based on emotions can lead to mistakes. Avoid reacting to market fluctuations out of fear or greed. Stick to your investment plan and make decisions based on research and logic. By being aware of these pitfalls and taking steps to avoid them, you can invest more wisely and increase your chances of financial success. Stay informed, be patient, and keep your emotions in check. Now, if you want to learn how to achieve financial success, then watch this video next. And if you made it to this point of the video, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.